So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qala azza wa jal, Shara'a lakum min ad-dini ma wassa bihi nuhan wal ladhi awhayna ilayk, wa ma wassayna bihi Ibrahima wa Musa wa Isa, an aqimu ad-dina wa la tatafarraku fih. Wa qala azza wa jal, wa'atasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Ila akhir al-ayah. رب الشح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا الطباء وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتناب آمين يا رب There's no doubt the ummah is divided and there's no doubt that if one studies the Quran it becomes clear for the reason the ummah is divided today <coughs> So let us start with what the Qur'an says and then I will add a few words to uh, my understanding of those particular verses of the Qur'an. Okay. Nowadays, we become divided over the smallest things. Why? What's the reason for that? So we'll study that issue. And where our focus needs to be in these times, that will be the other issue. And what should be the goal of the Ummah at these times? So that we're not divided. We divide over, oh, this scholar has this opinion. We make a scholar into a zero hero. You benefited from some, some scholar for 10 years. You listened to him for 10 years. You enjoyed and benefited from him. And he brought you closer to Allah for 10 years. And one day he says something you don't agree with. Oh, he goes from being a hero to a zero. He goes from being in your eyes al-haq, the truth, to like zero. This is dhulm. First of all, no scholar at any time ever was al-haq other than the Prophet ﷺ. No scholar at any time, especially nowadays, will be with, without some mistakes. Whatever rizq you have in knowledge you're going to get from different people, you're going to get your food of knowledge it can come from the enemy, it can come from wherever. But doesn't mean just because your source of knowledge is someone that it has to be 100% pure because that is nowhere to be found. And so we have this problem amongst religious Muslims who think that everything has to be hero and zero. And we overlook the more important and essential qualities. Even the Prophet said, وسلم, if somebody makes an ijtihad and makes it wrong, he gets a reward from Allah. If somebody has an opinion and it is a wrong opinion, but he's a sincere Muslim, he's going to be rewarded. If there is a sincere Muslim and he makes the right opinion, he gets double the reward. So on what basis and what are the, you can say the criteria of saying, okay, up to this much we can tolerate of mistakes and when it goes beyond this this is where we can't tolerate the mistakes where is that line so now this is what i want to first discuss with you now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran something very very severe and very very strong let me tell you in very simple words when you become divided because of knowledge let me repeat that. When you become divided because knowledge has come to you and your children see you fighting, oh no, Sheikh such and such is good and Sheikh such and such is bad and you have this atmosphere of, oh, I'm right and they're wrong. When you create this atmosphere, what is the punishment of Allah? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أُورِثُوا الْكِتَابِ Those people who inherit the book of Allah مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ After those people who acted in this way, that these people are right and these people are wrong and these people don't know what they're saying and these people know everything that they're saying. When you act in this way, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أُورِثُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ After that, لَفِي شَكٍّ مِّنْهُمْ مُرِيبٍ Those people who inherit the book of Allah, they become doubtful if this is the book of Allah. Your children will become doubtful if this is the book of Allah if you keep fighting with each other. 
What type of religion is this where, you, you, just like the Christians, what happened to them? You know, they got all these different groups. The Methodist, the Presbyterian, the Catholic, the Protestant, and then the different groups of the Protestants and the Orthodox Christians, all arguing with each other. So what happened? The next generation became atheists, easily. What's going to happen? Do you think we're any different? You think you'd take a scholar and you disagree with the way he's writing on it with his pen? Or he forgot to say Bismillah, or he forgot to say some word, or he made some Tajweed mistake. You throw him in the garbage? This is Islam. Our Islam, Islamic work nowadays is to throw punches at one another. Is to have a wrestling match between this Imam versus this Imam. This is our, this is our Islam. This is, if this is our Islam, then the next generation will doubt this is the book of Allah. Then the next generation is going to be in doubt if this is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so now, let me now translate and then I will talk about a few more things. وَمَا تَفَرَّقُوا They did not get divided. إِلَّا except مِنْ بَعْدِ after مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْعِلْمِ After knowledge came to them. After you became knowledgeable, what happened? بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ One school of thought versus another school of thought. بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ They became rebellious and they had animosity against one another after knowledge came to them. One has one perspective, another has another perspective. The knowledge came to them and the knowledge divided you. Knowledge is a big uniter, but the knowledge is also a big divider when you have a problem with your heart. When you take a scholar you disagree with, rather than saying, you know, I like this scholar, but I disagree with him on a few points, right? You throw him in the garbage. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates this so much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا تَفَرَّقُوا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْعِلْمِ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ They didn't get divided until knowledge came to them out of animosity to one another. And that's the problem in the heart. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is such a severe problem with Allah. This is such a severe issue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah says, وَلَوْ لَا كَلِمَةً سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّ لَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ Had not things been given in appointed time, I would have just finished it there and then. This is going to be, I'm giving you knowledge, right? And you're, you use knowledge like the way you use wealth to get credibility and to get your flock and to get your sheep rather than to grow and to create a community and to help one another to benefit one another you create your flock right and you oppose one another using knowledge and you oppose one another using religious knowledge inna ladina urithu al-kitab indeed those people who inherit the book of allah after this min ba'dihim after these people la fi shakkin minhum murib these people will be the cause of their children doubting if this is the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if you are one of those people who listens to scholars and says i'm never listening to this scholar again i'm never listening to this scholar again i have no respect for such and such scholar i have no respect for such and such no matter what the difference of opinion is Everybody knows, everyone knows what I think about Circus 19. Everybody knows what I think about these, the situation that we're in. But if somebody disagrees with me, what do I do? Throw him in garbage? He has nothing good to say? My attitude becomes, oh, he's not a good scholar, he's not beneficial, he has nothing beneficial to say to me. This is very, very dangerous. Those people that do this, they're the problem. They're the intolerant ones. They're the ones who don't know how to use knowledge properly. They don't know how to disagree properly according to the Sharia. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another verse regarding the same issue, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا تَفَرَّكَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ Before you, the people of the book, do you know how they got divided? Do you know how they came to the situation, the miserable state that they are amongst each other today? In After the clear signs came to them, after the clear signs came to them, they got divided. After the clear signs came to them, they became divided. Clear signs come to us and we think we have some, some special knowledge other people don't have. If you think you have a special status other people don't have, you have some knowledge other people don't have, 
right? You have some understanding of Islam other people don't have and you think you're special because of that? And you think you're better than other Muslims or your scholars are, you know, me and my Shaykh, we're going to Jannah and I don't know about anybody else. If you got that attitude, you are the problem. You're the problem. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another place in the Quran, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ فَرَّكُوا Don't be like those people got divided. وَاخْتَلَفُوا And then they had, they intensely differed with one another. مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاتْهُمُ الْبَيَّنَاتِ After Quran has come to you, after the clear signs have come to you, right? If you've become divided because of knowledge, because of clear signs, because you think you have a better understanding, أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ For them is the painful punishment. For them is the painful punishment. If you hear from my mouth saying the, those, those people are astray, don't ever listen to such and such people, then that means I'm the one with the problem. If you hear from the other side, don't listen to such and such people and to such and such scholars, it's wrong to listen to them, then they are the ones who became divided after knowledge came to them. Now let me put this in the proper context, inshallah ta'ala, so you can get the full benefit of this point. First of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Imran, Allah says, Ya yuhladhina amanu, O you people who believe, ittaqullah haqqa tuqatihi, fear Allah as he ought to be feared, wa la tamutunna, this should be the goal in your life, it's about yourself. Wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun, except you have surrendered completely to Allah. Now, what to do? وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ Hold on to the rope of Allah. Jami'an, all of you together. Because the Prophet said, وسلم, when the fitans come, when the difficulties and tribulations come, when it is hard to tell who is right, who is wrong, at that time do what? The Prophet told Ali رضي الله عنه, سَتَكُونَ فِتْنَةٌ Soon fitnas are coming. And Ali رضي الله عنه said, مَا مَخْلُلُهُ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وسلم, What is the way out, O Messenger of Allah? And the Prophet said, Kitabullah. The book of Allah is the way out. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse he says, and there's a long history behind this verse which I'm not going to go into, but I'm just going to give the simple translation. Hold on to the rope of Allah and do not be divided. The rope of Allah, huwa hablullah al mateen. This Quran is the rope of Allah. That what does this Quran do? Remember the favor of Allah upon you. If kuntum a'adan, all of you all that are together, Muslims as one, you were all enemies of one another. One another. فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ So your hearts became one. فَأَسْبَحَتُمْ بِنِعْمَةِ إِخْوَانَ And by the ni'mah of Allah, you became brothers. وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَا خُفْرَاتِ مِنَ النَّارِ And you were on the brink of falling into the fire. Had the Messenger of Allah not come, had the Book of Allah not come. فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِنْهَا He saved you from it. So you think that now you should thank Allah by fighting with another? Okay. كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ This is how Allah makes clear to you His signs. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَحْتَدُونَ So you will have guidance. That's the real purpose. And then, yes, you have to enjoin good and forbid wrong. But don't make اختلاف and تفريق equal to enjoining good and doing uh, forbidding wrong. وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ Let there be a jama'ah amongst you. يَدُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ That calls towards khair, that calls towards Islam. وَيَعْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ And they, en they enjoin what is good, what is known to be the good. The things that have no difference of opinion. Everyone knows it is good to pray. Everyone knows it's bad to lie. Everyone knows riba is wrong. Everyone knows to steal is wrong. Everyone knows, etc, etc. وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَ And they stop you from doing evil things. The Islamic uh, emphasis should be saving people from the fitans, saving them from doing the wrong things, the, bringing up the social values to the standards that Islam wants, establishing the deen of Allah, establishing the Quran as a social justice system of social justice. This should be the emphasis, not like listen to this scholar and don't listen to this scholar and this is a good scholar and that is a bad scholar and this Salafi group here and this Sufi group here. What the hell is this?
and Allah said, don't get confused. Enjoining good is not like, listen, I'm enjoining you good. You only listen to this group of scholars, not this group of scholars. This is not enjoining good. This is ikhtilaf. So then Allah, as He says, enjoin good and forbid evil, which is different, which has to do with the social norms and standards of society and the things that are have ijma upon them in the ummah, the clear consensus of the ummah. These are wrong things. These are not wrong things. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا Don't be of those people that divided the Muslims. Are you a source of division? When you're in the chat rooms, are you arguing with people because they don't agree with you because knowledge came to you? When you are in the chat rooms, are you arguing with people because they don't agree with your opinion? If you're one of those people that just can't be like, okay, you know, that's my opinion, that could be your opinion, and it's not an issue of Islam and Kufr, it's not an issue of like, uh, something that will save you in the hellfire, save you from the hellfire. It's not an issue that will be asked you about on the day of judgment. It's not an issue that will be asked about you, you, from you in the grave. If that's not, then if they have a difference of opinion, then that's what it. That's fine. Didn't did Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Shafi and did Imam Malik and Ahmed bin Hanbal did they have wrestling matches with each other? Did they have boxing matches with each other, or they respected one another? وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا And don't be like those people who became divided and then differed. مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيَّنَاتِ After Qur'an has come to you, this source of unity has come to you, and you're spending your time arguing about what? You're arguing, about, you're letting, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam said, you let go the camels, the big issues, riba, aqamatu al-deen, the establishment of Islam, establishment of the Khilafah, the Hijrah, the coming of the Fitans, those issues that are the big issues you don't want to, you want to argue with about. This is right scholar, this is bad scholar. What is this nonsense? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Don't be like those people became divided and then differed with one, other, one another. When you have the Quran, disagree with, even in the Quran we disagree. So what? May Allah protect us. For them is a painful punishment. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ تَبِيَتْ وَتَصْوَدٌ Some faces will be bright that day. Some faces will be dark that day. God forbid that we be of those people that whose faces are darkened because we differed with one another. Because we thought we knew something other people don't know. فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ أَسْوَدَّتْ وُجُوهَهُمْ أَكَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ Did you do kufr after your iman? Did you reject the truth? You rejected the Qur'an and then you argued over, like Isa a.s. said, you let go the camels and argue over the flies. We're arguing over the flies? Oh, no, this person says this opinion because of this, I'm, he's, that's it, arguing over flies? And letting go the camels, forgetting the bigger picture? And as for those people whose faces become brightened, sorry for my dyslexia, they're in the rahmah of Allah. Hum fiha khalidun in it they will remain. Tilka ayatullah. These are the ayat of Allah. These are the signs of Allah. Natluha alayka bil haq. We recite them to you, O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa In truth, wa mallahu yuridu dhulman lil alameen. Allah doesn't want to do wrong. But you should not be arguing over small things, over the big issues, and letting arguing over the small things and letting go of the big issues. The kabair you don't talk about, the big sins you don't want to talk about, but you want to say this person's right and this person's wrong, and you have no knowledge, and you use the knowledge you have yourself to divide other people. This is not the deen, this is not Islam, this is not from the teachings of the deen. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayah number 30 of Sushura says, Shara'a lakum min ad-deen. Allah has made Sharia, has prescribed for you in the deen. مَا وَصَّابِهِ نُوحًا وَالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ The same that was ordained to Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam and that has been revealed to you, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَمَا وَصَّيْنَا بِهِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى And the same thing that was ordained to Ibrahim and Musa and Isa أَنْ أَقِيمُ الدِّينَ Establish the deen. Establish the deen, establish Islam, establish Islam, establish Islam, establish the Khilafah, establish Islam for people to see this is Islam, this is the work of Islam. Don't be divided about this issue. 
كَبُرَ عَلَى الْمُشْرِكِينَ مَا تَدْعُوهُمْ إِلَيْ This is now hateful for the mushrikeen, for the people that do shirk, that you call them towards this. That you call them towards the establishment of Islam. For them to see the just world order. Allahu yajtabi ilayhi man yasha, and Allah chooses for Himself whoever He wills. Wa yahdi ilayhi man yunib, and He guides those people who repent to Allah and return to Allah. And wa mata faraku. This is that verse. And you should, instead of focusing on the Book of Allah, the establishment of the Book of Allah, establishment of the Deen, bringing the Muslims together, bringing the hearts of the Muslims together. What do you do? You want to get into what? Ikhtilafi masail. Hi. You know, اختلافي مسائل وما تفرق ال وما تفرق إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم العلم. They didn't get divided until knowledge came to them. This person saying, "I got this hadith and you got that hadith and my hadith is right, your hadith is daif. You're going to the hellfire and I'm going to jannah." This is Islam. This is the work of showing people the greatness of Prophet Muhammad. This is the work of establishing the social, political, economic, social order of Islam. This is that. This is what we should get divided upon. The big, because our eyes are out of the big issues, we can't talk about what is money. We can't talk about riba. We, we, those issues that are the real issues, people don't want to talk about. They want to talk about this. Oh, look at this scholar. Oh, look at how ugly this scholar is. Oh, look at this scholar doesn't know this. Oh, because you know everything. وَمَا تَفَرَّقُوا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاتْهُمُ الْعِلْمِ They didn't get divided until knowledge came to them. بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ Out of hatred and resentment, right? Out of rebellion to one another. وَلَوْ لَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ If it had not been a word that Allah had already set, that the day of judgment will come or your death will come at a certain time, لَقُضِيَ الْعَمَرْ The affair would have been settled between you because of this behavior of yours. In الَّذِينَ أُرِثُ الْكِتَابِ And those people, those people that are dividing the Muslims and they think this is Islamic work. إن الَّذِينَ أُرِثُ الْكِتَابِ Indeed, those people who inherit the Book of Allah مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ After them, لَفِي شَكِّ مِنْهُمْ مُرِيبِ They will be, they themselves will be in doubt after they inherit the Book of Allah. Whether if this is the truth or not. Are you part of that problem? I'm not talking about people who, who, uh, outright deny things in the Quran. Of course, if somebody says Muhammad is not the last messenger, that goes against the Quran. If somebody says some big issue, but if somebody says, I think uh, we should like we should pray Rafayadain, and another person says we should not pray Rafayadain, this is not the time to argue over these issues. Okay, somebody can argue over small issues, and you. Throw him in the garbage because you think, oh, he said we should do this and he said we should do that. I don't agree with him because he sided with such and such group. Therefore, he is just now bad. What is this? Is this Islamic work? And people have become so thankless. They will study with the scholar for years. And then because they think they got knowledge that the other scholar didn't have, now they think that, oh, they don't have to listen to the first scholar that they had been listening to for years. Now they can throw him in the garbage can. Such thankless people that think that they're doing the work of the deen. That you listen to somebody, you benefit from somebody, you listen to him for years, and then one thing you disagree with him and you throw him in the garbage can. This is your heart. This is the soft heart that you have. This is the prophetic model of how a Muslim should behave. This is the equivalent of that verse. Those people who became divided after knowledge and clear signs came to them. Clear signs came that you would be divided and don't be divided. Even when you differ, don't be divided. Be like Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik and Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal who disagreed on 30% of the issues, but then they still kept the brotherhood. Today, one person in a chat room disagrees with somebody and, oh my God, his anger is to the roof. One person disagrees with an, one mas'ala with some scholar and his anger is to the roof. One person disagrees with something some sheikh says. Disagree with one thing and you throw him in the garbage can. And you have, you know, the scholars of the old Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal says, I never went to sleep except I did dua for my teachers. Now many of those teachers he disagreed with. 
but he did dua for them because they were part of his journey to where he was at that time. I disagree with my teachers. I should do dua for them every night. Not you listen to a scholar all your life and then you disagree with something and then throw him in the garbage and think like he doesn't even deserve your du'as. Astaghfirullah, this is where the ummah is today. And then we're like, oh, how are we going to save ourselves? How are you going to save yourselves? Look at yourselves. May Allah protect, inshallah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.